Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about the book Confessions by Kane Minato, a Japanese author. Uh, this story is set in a middle school and in the area surrounding the middle school, the community uh, and um, other facilities around the school. The story is told from multiple points of view. So we have the starting out with a middle school teacher who is resigning from her position. Uh, part of the reason she's resigning is because of the recent death of her four-year-old daughter. Uh, she tells this story in the opening chapter of how her daughter's death plays a part in her decision to leave, but then she ends up explaining to her classes that it is not um, an accidental death. And she goes about um, telling this story about what has happened and talking to the students in her classroom uh, and accuses a couple of the students in her class of being the murderers of her daughter, uh, which is part of where the title Confessions comes from. So then the rest of the story follows uh, the teacher and how she hopes the, the rest of their lives will play out. Other chapters are told from other students in the class, um, from other members in their community, and trying to sort out what exactly happened. So it ends up being this story of revenge, a story of mystery, a story of suspense, um, and even to the very end where you're just left um, wondering and speechless about what actually happened. It causes you to also question the, uh, the decisions that a lot of the characters make and whether or not that's something that is justifiable. So it's very well written, very well done. Uh, it's if you're a story if you like stories that include mystery and suspense and revenge, I highly recommend Confessions. Uh, I'd like to read you a sample from when the teacher is talking to her class about how she is going to be leaving. When I would ask her if she, what she did while she was waiting for me, she'd give me a mischievous look and tell me she'd been playing with some of you girls. I should have realized then that she was hiding something and questioned her more. If I had, she might have never gone to the pool. Minami died because I was supposed to be looking out for her, and I wasn't vigilant enough. I am truly sorry, too, for the shock it caused everyone here at the school. It's been more than a month now, and I still reach out on the futon every morning, expecting to find Minami curled up next to me. When we went to sleep at night, she would always push up against me, making sure that we were touching somewhere, and if I pulled away to tease her, she would reach out toward me again. When I relented and took her hand, she would relax and drop off to sleep. I find myself crying now each morning when I reach out and realize that I will never again feel her downy cheeks or her soft hair. When I told the principal I would be resigning, he asked whether it was because of what happened to Minami, which is just what you were wondering earlier, Miss Katahara. And it's true that I've decided to resign because of Minami's death. But it's also true that under other circumstances, I would probably have continued to teach in order to atone for what I'd done and to take my mind off of my misery. So why am I resigning? Because Minami's death wasn't an accident. She was murdered by some of the students in this very class. So that is Confessions by Kanae Minato, and I highly recommend that you pick this up as your next read.